So this year, I've had to do a lot of Zoom webinars, helping people set them up and doing virtual conferences. I guess with lockdown and all that sort of thing, people have had to revert to being online. Now, there is one thing that I do when I do a webinar and I have panelists in there and I want to make sure everything is right before I start. So what I do is I enable practice mode. Now, what that means is I can get the panelists in. We can test the settings, check their sound, test whether they know how to do sharing the screen if they need to do that and just making sure everyone's OK. And I do make sure I connect people in advance so that we know everything is working well and there are no problems with connections and things. So as a bit of a rule, I tend to get people to log in about half an hour before just to make sure they can then stop what they're doing and go away. So practice mode is really useful because we can do that without broadcasting to our participants who are going to join us. So one of the things about using practice mode that you do need to know is if you're looking at the panelists tab, you won't see anyone coming in because the webinar hasn't started. Once you start the webinar, you will see the panelists suddenly appear there. So how does it work? Well, I've got a panelist. I've got Lisa who is waiting for me to set up this webinar and I'm going to send her a link. If you want to know how to set up a webinar and how to set up panelists, I've got links for how to do that below. But I've started setting up a webinar here and you can see it. I'm just going to call it my webinar. I've got a date and a time. I'm going to scroll down. I would normally have a passcode in here as well. You should be very aware of doing proper security on these things. I've got the hosts and the panelists on as well. And you can see here, I've elected to have a Q&A. You don't have to have that. But the important thing here is this enable practice session. So I'm going to do that. Let's just tick it. One of the things you'll see here is I've got it set to automatically record the webinar and I've got it recording to the computer because that way it actually records what you're seeing. So if you've got panelists side by side, it records it like that. Whereas in the cloud version, it kind of does it as speaker view. And also I've got a link below to another video where you can see how I set it up to get better quality as well. OK, so that has been enabled. I'm going to click on schedule. So I did need to go back in and actually put in a passcode. I took it away uh, just for security reasons, but it did prompt me to actually put in the passcode there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add Lisa as a panelist. And as I said, I've got a video for that. So we're just going to go, I'm going to do this. I'm going to email it to her and then we're going to go into Zoom. OK, so here we are in Zoom now. Here's Lisa. She's the other panelist. You can have more panelists. So she's ready to go. Hi, Lisa. Hi. OK, so she's there. Just going to show you something here. It says at the top, you're in a practice session. Attendees can't join until you start the webinar. And it says start webinar here. You can see I'm recording. So it is actually recording this now, even though I haven't started the webinar. I want to just show you here that in the participants, you can actually see the attendees. It's not showing anyone. And as I said, that will only come up once you actually start the webinar. So let me just close that because I don't need to see the participants. And I haven't sent this link out to anyone. So you're not going to suddenly see all the participants come in there because I'm just recording this for you. So as I mentioned, I've got a side by side here. I've got us in the gallery view. So because I'm recording on the computer, it will record it with this view. OK, so when I'm ready, all I need to do is press start webinar. So as you can see, this is really useful for actually getting a webinar done. Now, when we start, because both of our cameras are on, the audience will see both of us. If I didn't want them to see Lisa and I was just going to introduce it myself or vice versa, I would stop the camera. Now, I would still see a blank space where either Lisa or I would be because the camera is stopped, but the audience wouldn't see that. And then when it's ready and say one of us has done the introduction, we can switch on and that other person will be there. Then if they're doing their piece like a presentation, we can stop the camera there too. So as you can see, we can test all of that out. When it's ready, I can just hit start webinar and we're off. So there you are. That's a really nice, simple way to do a webinar, get set up, get prepared and 
have your panelists all ready in advance without having to wait for them to come in and the audience watching what is going on. So there you are. That's how you can easily set up your webinar so you've got it in practice mode so your attendees don't see you getting ready and perhaps having a chat with the panelists beforehand. If you do like this, I've got lots of Zoom tutorials on my website, shootwithschwartz.com, or on the YouTube channel right here, which is jargonfreehelp.com. If you do like this, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.